I've had dozens of requests to test different chain loop brands. Just about everybody has a bicycle and just about every bicycle has a chain. So which chain lube is going to last the longest? Which one is going to attract the least amount of dirt? And which one has the most film strength? I'm not exactly sure about that, but what I do know is we've got some test equipment, so let's get the testing underway and see which one of these products is the best. I recently purchased this hay baler and the previous owner used motor oil to lubricate the chain. As you can see, there's just a lot of buildup of dirt and grime on this chain. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a better product. Just one chain for this hay baler cost over $100. So obviously I wanna find out which chain lube is the best to keep this chain in good working condition. Also, the sprockets are extremely expensive as well. We're gonna determine how much dirt these products collect by using these products on these new chains and then running them through some dirt. We're gonna use the Lubristi tester to measure the film strength of each of the chain lubes. We're gonna performance test each of the chain lubes using this chainsaw. First thing we want to do is clean off each of our chains to make sure that there isn't any oil on them. So I'm going to do best I can with using some acetone. I'm going to apply these products to one chain each and then I will suspend each of these chains up in the air for a few minutes to allow the products to drip off. CRC Extreme Duty Open Gear and Chain Lube reduces friction and wear and contains moly and graphite. DuPont Chain Saver Wax Based Chain Lube is for chain driven vehicles, reduces chain wear, and is a self cleaning technology. Liquid Wrench Chain and Cable Lube is an anti sling penetrant. Lucas Chain Lube penetrates, lubricates, and extends chain and sprocket life. Purple Extreme Synthetic Lubricant is supposed to be the world's most advanced bike chain lubricant. 400 plus miles between applications. Extreme water wash off resistance. Schaefer's Molly Roller Chain Lube. Triples chain life. Schaefer's, Purple Extreme, Lucas, and Liquid Wrench all look about the same. They're all translucent. They don't look messy. The chains still look like there's lubricant on them. In other words, they still look wet. Unlike the other products, DuPont looks like it is totally dried off. It feels dry to the touch as well. CRC, unlike the other products, is clearly coated with a very dark chain lube. This is a very oily type product. As you can see, it's going to probably sling a lot of oil. So one important ingredient that you want with a chain lube is you want a product that will stick to the chain. Unlike the other products, used motor oil is dripping a lot onto the cardboard beneath the chains. The next test to determine how much sand is going to stick to each of these products. Obviously, you don't want dirt and sand sticking to the chain lube that you use because that will cause damage. The used motor oil is definitely a magnet for dirt and sand. As you can see, this thing is just loaded with sand. CRC, just like used motor oil, has a lot of sand on it. DuPont has sand on it, but it's not the large pieces of sand. It's a lot finer grit. Liquid Wrench does not have as much sand on it as used motor oil or CRC, but it does have more sand on it than DuPont. Lucas has a lot of sand on it, probably just as much as used motor oil and definitely as much as CRC. Purple Extreme actually did very well. Very little sand on this, probably a little bit less than DuPont. It's very close. I'd say the Schaefer is probably finished in third place in this category behind Purple Extreme as well as DuPont. The next test to determine whether or not these products prevent rust. What I'm going to do is spray these chains down with tap water. Then what I'm going to do is use a hydrogen peroxide vinegar and salt mix which is highly corrosive. I spread all the chains five times in one hour, and so what we'll do now is just go through each one of them and look at how much rust has formed. This is used motor oil. As you can see, there's a, quite a bit of rust that's formed on the chain. This is CRC. As you can see, there's absolutely no rust. However, there is a lot of dirt and grime that's built up on this chain. So DuPont definitely did better than used motor oil. However, there is still rust forming on several links of this chain. So the chain with liquid wrench on it seemed to have the most rust up to this point. Unfortunately, liquid wrench makes a tremendous penetrating fluid. It actually won one of the two showdowns, but it's definitely not going to win this showdown. Lucas actually did pretty good as far as corrosion prevention. I don't see that much rust on this. A lot of these dark areas, that's just the dirt. So Purple Extreme finished sort of middle of the pack regarding corrosion. As you can see, there is some corrosion that has formed. However, it's not as bad as some of the other products. 
Unfortunately, Schaefer's came in last in this department. Clearly it has a tremendous amount of rust. Again, this is five applications over one hour and look at all that rust. That's a lot of damage. We're gonna go ahead and measure the film strength of each of these chain lubes using Lubristi Tester. Look in the video description and select the link if you wanna see a video specifically about this Lubristi Tester. The first bearing is used motor oil. Used motor oil finished middle of the pack. Then there's CRC, which came in first place. DuPont, Liquid Ranch, and Lucas all are about the same. Then there's Purple Extreme, which finished in second place, doing a very good job. And Schaefer's finishing in third place. We're gonna run this for one minute. I went ahead and emptied the oiler. So at this point, there's nothing that's going to lubricate this chain. <laughs> The chain with the used motor oil on it is very hot. The oil did not stick to the chain. This chain is really dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this bar off with brake parts cleaner, and then we will reuse the same bar. Okay, I'm gonna see how much product is still on this chain. This product, while it slung a lot of it off, still has a lot of it on the chain still. The chain with DuPont on it looked dry before the test. It looks dry now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel on it just to see how dry it is. As you can see, there's nothing really on this besides a little bit of dirt. Also, the bar is very hot. There was plenty of liquid wrench on the chain when the test began. We're gonna go ahead and see if there's any left on it now. There doesn't seem to be any liquid wrench left on this chain. This chain's very hot and it seems very dry. You can see Lucas did sling a little bit of oil off the chain. So I'm gonna see how much oil is still on the chain. Looks like Lucas does have a little bit of oil still on the chain. After a minute of runtime, the Purple Extreme chain looks pretty dry. As you can see, the Purple Extreme paper towel looks pretty dry. Okay, so the Schaefer's slung off a lot of oil when I first got the chainsaw going, and the chain started smoking pretty badly around 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is see how much Schaefer's, if any, is still on the chain. The chain actually looks pretty dry. The paper towel looks pretty dry, and the Schaefer's does not appear to be on the chain any longer. With the used motor oil, you can tell that most of the used motor oil slung off the chain, and unfortunately, by the time the one minute engine run was over with, the chain was pretty much dry. CRC seems to have done the best. There was plenty of CRC left after the engine run. It did sling some off at the beginning of the test, but most of the CRC remained on the chain the entire engine run. The chain with DuPont on it was pretty dry when I put the chain on the chainsaw, and by the end of the test, it's very clear that it was really dry. Most of the liquid run slung off the chain at the beginning of the test run. By the time the engine run was over with, the chain was pretty dry. Lucas did a pretty decent job of sticking to the chain. Obviously not nearly as good as CRC, but there was some Lucas left on the chain by the time the test was over. Purple Extreme has great film strength, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to stick to the chain very well. And by the time the engine run was over with, the chain was pretty dry. A lot of the Schaefer slung off the chain during the engine run. About 30 seconds in, there was a lot of smoke coming off the chain, something we did not see with the the other products. By the time the test was over with, the chain was pretty dry. So I went ahead and installed the new chain. This is the main drive chain of this baler. And so which product am I going to use on this drive chain? I decided to use CRC. Now here's why. 
CRC is obviously going to attract a lot of dirt and grime. However, this hay baler is going to put a lot of stress on this chain and the sprockets. In my opinion is the best way to keep this chain and the sprockets fresh is to have a product that has extremely high film strength. Regardless of what chain lube I use, I'm going to have a lot of dirt flying around inside this box. These hay balers make a tremendous amount of dust and dirt. So CRC won this competition by having tremendous film strength and coming out on top in three or four categories. But the qualities that made it come out on top in three categories also resulted in it coming in last place as far as the amount of dirt that stuck to the chain. Because it's so sticky, because it has such great film strength, it's also a magnet for dirt. Definitely not something you want on a bicycle chain, but it might be a great product for something that isn't going to be exposed to a lot of dirt. Now, if you were to use a product for a bicycle, which product would I recommend? I would say Purple Extreme, and here's why. Purple Extreme had very good film strength, which is gonna protect your chain and your sprocket from wear. Also, it did a fairly good job at resisting rust. So if you're out riding and you splash through some mud puddles or it gets wet, your chain is less likely to rust than it is with some of the other products. Overall, I was really impressed with Purple Extreme, but it's incredibly expensive, costing three and a half times more than most of these products. I like Lucas quite a bit as well. Lucas did not have as much film strength, but it did tend to stick to the chain. So if you have an application where film strength isn't as important and you just need to make sure that you have a product that's gonna to stick to the chain, Lucas might be a good choice. Anyway, are there other chain lubes that I missed? If so, would you like to have another showdown using different products? I'm always open to your video ideas. You guys give me great recommendations. I hope you leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.